So once you download CinePunch, you are gonna see your old Transition Punch preset folder, which is gonna contain the in and out point preset file for Transition Punch. And you're now gonna see the new Transition Punch 5.0 folder. And inside there is going to be the packet for the Transition Punch drag and drop build. So once inside Premiere, if you go to File, Import, and select the Transition Punch Premiere project file, and when this Import Project box pops up, you want to select Import Entire Project, and then check on Create Folder for Imported Items, and Allow Imported Duplicate Media. And now you're going to see your Transition Punch folder. You're going to see three folders, Change Resolution here, your Transitions folder, and then the Ultimate Sound Effects Pack, which was released in Volume 17. So it's a simple drag and drop system. And you can see there are a bunch of different transition folders in here. And we want to take a look at what our transitions look like and sound like. You just want to click on the icon view down below here. So click on the icon view. And now you can just hit the space bar. And that'll give you a good idea of what your transitions are going to look and sound like. Go to File, Project Settings, General, and there you can switch your graphics card. So make sure that you're running OpenCL or CUDA on your graphics card, at least when you go to Render. It's fine to work in software only, but make sure when you go to Output or Render that you change it to OpenCL or CUDA. Now, once you're ready to add your transitions, you just want to check on a few buttons to make sure everything works properly. You want to make sure that your timeline is set up to accept these transitions properly. So in this case, I'm in my timeline. And before we start using our transitions, you want to just make sure you check on this insert and overwrite sequences button. You want to make sure this is turned on. And now, right in the timeline, you're going to see your video one, video two, video three tracks. And we just want to make sure our video one tracks are turned off. And now you can just drag and drop your transitions. And as you drag and drop your transitions, you're going to see a cut point. This cut point is where you want to place your transition between your two shots. So changing resolutions is really easy. I just want to show you, in this case, I have two timelines set up. One is 1080p and the other one's 5K. Now, if I were to drag and drop a transition, let's say in this case, a 5K timeline, and I did not change the setting, you're going to see that the transition doesn't fit exactly. All we want to do is match the transition layer settings to our timeline settings. So all we want to do is go to our folder that says change resolution here. We're gonna right click on our transition punch layer. We're gonna go down to sequence settings. And once we're in there, all we have to do is change the frame size to match our timeline. Just to note, make sure the scale motion effects proportionately is checked on. By default, it usually is, but I just wanted to make note that Make sure it is checked on so that all the effects scale properly when changing the resolution. So I'm just going to change this to 5K. Hit OK. And that's it. So when we drag and drop our transition, you can see the sound mix is put all together. And in some cases, you're gonna have a variety of different mixes happening. But the beauty of it is here is that you can delete, modify, change the mix to suit your needs. So if I just play this. Now in this case, if you wanna, let's say, just adjust the volume, you can change the volume here in your track. And you can modify the sound however fits your needs. If I right click on any of the audio files and I just say reveal and project, it's going to point me to that audio file. 
But a little trick is that you can actually make sure your track is highlighted. And if I go to a different file, let's just say I like this audio file instead or I want to experiment. If I highlight my audio track and then select a new file and on Mac hold down the Option key or in Windows hold down the Alt key and I'm just going to drag and overwrite the other file and you can change it fast and quick so it's going to give you the flexibility to mix how you like to mix so that's it hope you enjoy the new pack